So, Jim, I mean, you you um, you believe this sort of notion that you you may not agree where things are. You may think that the Fed should be doing or should be doing less. You sh you may think that the fundamentals suggest that rates should be higher where they are. There's this, a man. This is the game you have to play. So There's why not man, play it? A man, a great man, a man who owns the Panthers, and he's befuddled. Why? I was talking to him yesterday. Taught me bonds. I'm talking to Dave Tepper. He thinks the bond market, like everybody else, is a short. But if the bonds are telling the truth, which they often do, then the cheapest stock in this market are FANG. And I go. think FANG's back. There you go. That's what we were saying, right? That, that you tell me why, Jim, the NASDAQ shouldn't be a lot higher with the It should with be a, a lot higher. 155? Amen. And we're going into Memorial Day weekend. Historically, I'm, look, I'm even willing to go. I'm willing to go. Steve, Steve, listen to me. I'm willing to go Tesla. I'm willing to buy Tesla. Right. Isn't that, isn't that Weiss? Yeah. I'll go back to you, Weiss. Isn't that a, that's the whole question, yeah. right? All of those stocks either got stuck in the mud or fell down a lot because everybody was so worried about the spike in interest rates. Now, if interest rates are backing mm -hmm. down, you tell me why those stocks shouldn't go back up. Steve? They should. They have. And let me confirm Jim's conversation with Dave because we'll after continue. our golf game yesterday, Dave and I spoke about the markets at length. And all these big bond managers are off sides. They've been short bonds. I'm not saying Dave is. I'm not talking about his positions. They've been short bonds. So what you've had now is a massive covering rally as they've seen the auctions. The reason why you're not going to see the continued mega advance off the bottoms in the snowflakes, crowdsource, et cetera, is because rates are going to go back up as we get inflation numbers. So they weren't scared about an increase in rates. They were seeing the increase in rates. So now the Fed has more credibility because maybe it's transitory as we've seen the pullback in commodity prices. But I think you can be long the market. And, yes, yeah, Scott, you're right. This is, no, this is not the same as 08 because the difference is, is that going to 08 and through that crisis, the consumer didn't want to spend, right? They were worried. They were scared. Here, with the forced closing, you had consumers who want to spend going into it. We started to see that. And then you were told you can't spend anymore. So this is going to be consumer-led recovery, as it always is, with two-thirds of GDP. But their thirst for acquisitions of personal goods for experiences are what's going to continue to drive it and drive it right through the supply chain, where, like me, you order a bike and you got to wait till November of 22 yeah. to get one. I don't know what kind so, of bike. Look, I don't so know, I what, kind of, I don't know what kind of bike you ordered that you got to wait till the end of 22 to Any get it. But that, that's neither here nor there. <laughs>